week we're going to be looking at the baseline for the Love Cats by The Cure. This was a request that I had quite a while ago, so I thought it's finally time to get around to it. So we're going to take this piece in sections. Um, there are six really distinct sections. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn each section individually and then we're going to learn how to piece them together at the end. Section one, so this is the intro. This section actually only pops up once in the whole song. Um, but it's really distinct um, and it's quite simple to learn. So I'm going to play it you first and then we're going to break it down. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And that's it. That's your intro. So we're in the key of A minor for this song. Um, so the first part goes up to an A. We've got two uh, dotted notes that come in just before beat one of the bar and then the A lands on beat one. So the two dotted notes are E and G and then you have an open A. So the rhythm, if we do it nice and steady, goes one, two, three, four, one. Okay, da da, one. Then after that, we have the same dotted notes followed by an F and it's the same rhythm. So it goes one, two, three, four, so it's E, G, F, okay? So if you put that together, you have one, two, three, four, E, G, A, two, three, four, E, G, F, and then you repeat that whole thing. E, G, A, two, three, four, E, G, F, and that's section one. Okay, so section two. So section two is the riff that you will recognise probably most prominently within this song. Um, it repeats a lot throughout the song um, and it's quite simple again. So it follows the same pattern as the intro with just a couple of extra notes. So with your intro, we know we've got E, G, A, okay? But um, A is on B1 and then after that, for the riff, you have an E on B2 which is the second fret on your D string. Then you have a D on B3, followed by a C that comes in just before beat four. It's, it's what they call a push. And a push means that the note you play isn't bang on the beat like two and three are. So they go, and one, but one, two, three. They're all bang on the beat. Whereas the C comes in just before the four. So it kind of goes one, two, three, four. You see, just only touch, just a fraction. So that's, um, so you've got to watch that rhythm. So we have the whole of that is two, three. Yeah? And then we have the same rhythm again. And it's the same uh, little opening as the intro again. So you have the E, G, F, like we did on the second part of the intro. G, and then you have D, C, B, okay? And that B is pushed just like the C on the other one. So let's put that all together. A one, two, three, four. Okay, and then when it comes along, usually it's repeated more than once, which means you go back to the E, G, A. So if we just do two of those riffs together, for an example. So section three is the part that I like to think of as the midsection. So we're opening with that dotted E, G again. And instead of going to the A, we're going E, G, C, okay? And then it follows the same rhythm as the riff, but with different notes. So we hit the C on that A string, open D, E on that D string, open G, okay? So that bit put together. Okay, and then you're following that G with two dotted Cs. So we've still got the dotted rhythm, but they're on the same note, so it's that C. And then you've got a D, open D, E on the D string, F on the D string, and then you jump up to a C on the G string. Now that C has a little slide on it, 
It's a very quick slide because you're going to move straight back down to repeat that whole riff again, which goes down to the dotted E and the G again. So in practice, it sounds something like this. So section four, we've got kind of a weird, slidey little thing. It's quite free and a little bit cool. So you've come in from the midsection with a E, G, and it ends on the A. Instead of, obviously, you've just gone G, C, okay? Um, and we've just finished our midsection, and we've got E, G, A. I'm going to stop on that A, and then we're going to follow it with a slide up to. We cut sort of slide up to an E, and we can even go a little bit further than the E to find that C on the G string, okay? So this is all very smooth, like this. And then follow that with a dotted E, G, F. Stop on that F. So this bit sort of, you want to be smoothing this all out. We'll do it nice and slowly. Okay? And then we're gonna do the slide again, just a little bit further up. So the notes you're aiming for is a slide up to an F, which is that third fret on your D string. And then you've got a D, which is right down here. It's round about level with your neck, but again, use your ears for your tuning. So you've got a D on that G string. So you're gonna slide down to that D, okay? And then you have the riff again, E, G, A, and hold it and stop. Okay, and then that bit repeats. So put it together, nice and slowly, we've got. Okay, and that's section four. So I'm gonna take a look at section five. So this is probably the most complicated section of the song. So we've come in to this section down on an open E at the bottom. And then we come up to a top E, G, E. Then we have the dotted, okay? So it's E, G, F. Then it kind of slides around that A, okay? Back to the F. Then we have F, G, E. Repeat the first bit. E, open G, E. Then we have And this is the bit where it gets complicated. So you've got E, E, G, F, and then you have a little rhythm that kind of goes da 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 da. The notes are F, E, F, G, F, G, A, G, G. Okay? So it kind of sounds slowly. We've got the F. Okay? So it's quite a fiddly bit. So I suggest you practice that a little bit on its own and isolate it until you're really quite sharp with it. It only comes along once, um, but it is a little bit fiddly. So we'll put that section together. Okay? Um, and it ends that section with an A, okay? So just go through it one more time, nice and slowly, so you can see what I'm doing. So here we pick up the pace a little bit. So we're changing from our rhythm and we're going to just go straight into four to the bar. What four to the bar means is that you have four notes to each bar um, and they come on beats one, two, three and four. Okay, so this is quite a simple section and um, it follows the scale of A minor pretty much. Um, so what we're going to do is going to take it in the four little sections. It's almost a repeated pattern, but not quite. So section one, we have open A, B, second fret, C, third fret, open D, E, second fret, F, third fret, E, second fret, and C. Okay, so put together, sounds. Okay, then 
we have the next section, which is F, first fret, G, third fret, A, open, B, second fret, C, third fret, B, second fret, C, third fret, G, move down, third fret. So put together, it sounds like... So the next bit, we have an almost identical repeat of the very first bit, but this time the last note is different. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, E, and just a repeat of that E. So it's exactly the same, just that last note is a repeat of the E, followed by the last section, which is F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G. So it kind of just goes up and down. F, first fret, G, third fret, a open, B second fret, C third fret, B second fret, A open, G third fret. Okay, so we put that whole section together and it sounds. So let's look at how we piece this song together. So we obviously we start with the intro. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then we're into the main riff. And that main riff repeats six times over. Okay? So Let's have a look at time number six, moving into the next section, which is that mid section, so section three. So we're gonna do riff number six. done our riff six times over and then we're back into that midsection again just like a repeat of the beginning so far okay and we do that twice okay so then we're into our slidey bit which is section four so that comes in with the a as i just finished the last bit So we've had four lots of the riff and then we're going to go into that little fiddly section five. So we've, uh, we'll end on... Okay, so we've finished on that A. So next we hit that B section again. So this time you've come to the section from your high A rather than your low A, but it's still the same section. So following that B section, we have two versions of the riff and then we have the scale section. into four versions of the riff again. So after that four, we then go to the very ending, which ends on that E. So this is time four. And then we finish on the... So there you have it, The Love Cats by The Cure. If you're a patron, um, the tab will be uploaded to the downloads page. 
so you can download that and go through the video with the tab. Um, if you're not a patron, we start at just £3 a month and that gives you all the downloads you need for the videos. Um, and also access to a private Facebook community where we can chat, answer questions, you can upload videos for um, technique advice or just to show progress, things like that. Um, it's great fun. Um, there's different tiers, so it goes all the way up to, to crazy things where you can get like private lessons and um, group lessons and things like that. So um, please do check it out. Even if you're not a patron, give us a thumbs up and a little subscribe. Um, I'll still be keeping uploading videos for free. So I hope you're enjoying the content. If you've got any requests or comments, do comment below. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and keep rocking.